individuals of the same substance. That's when we need Avogadro's number. into an equivalency. Yeah, so what number should I write on the left? And what number should I write on the right? Oh, I was going to write it down and we can think about it. So what do you think? So what, what should it be? What number should we write on the right? Uh, 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 yeah. yeah, although it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they are. this into an equivalency. So you would not say that one dozen eggs is equal to one egg. Right, because what is a mole? It's 6 it's times 10 to the 23rd. So if you say a mole of birds, you mean 6 times 10 to the 23 birds. Mm -hmm. That's a heck of a lot of birds. Okay. Um, this into an equivalency. All right, so each of the cats can kill one of the birds. So again, remember we use the Avogadro's number when we are trying to set up an equivalency between moles of a substance and individuals of that same substance. Well, that's exactly what we're doing here. Moles of the substance and individuals of that same substance. Um, so how about if we were trying to set this up between gizmos and moles of gizmos. Six times 10 to the power And it, has, it doesn't matter that you have no idea what a gizmo is, right? It doesn't matter what a gizmo is. We just, it just matters what a mole is. We have the same substance on both sides, so one mole is equal to 6 times 10 to the 23rd of those. So that's the kind of conversion that we're doing here between moles of a substance and individuals of that same substance. Okay. Now the problem is calculate the mass in grams of a single nitrogen molecule.
So you're trying to write down the target units. So we know it's going to be grams. Now, are they asking you for the grams of an atom or the grams of a molecule? molecule. And the formula for the molecule is N2. So it's good that you're trying to write down the substance. That's important. And it's good that you're writing the target units. Seven times ten to the negative twenty-three. That's good. What you wrote down was right. Well, that was good. We got this from the periodic table, two times fourteen. But this was in grams per mole, so you had to convert between moles and molecules, and you put the Avogadro's number in the right place. So this was a good example of converting between individuals and the group. So that's good. How many moles are represented by 2.49 times 10 to the 20 molecules of carbon monoxide? That's right. So mono is the prefix for one, so that's correct. So that would be CO. Okay, good. That should have been 2.49. Oh, actually, that didn't come out right. Something went wrong there. Oh, I, I think it was 2.49. 2.49 So that was a pretty simple one. Okay, good. So again, we're going from individuals to the group. So that's when we use the uh, Avogadro's number. 